Hey Aquarius, just wanted to put um, some other decks of cards out there and see what's going on with other decks. Um, this is of course a reading being recorded in August, but if you see it and it resonates, it's for you. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So, if, you know, what should I be doing? Um, you're already doing it. You know, um, you're aligning yourself. You're working yourself over these tough paths here. And look over here. It does look like, you know, you're heading in the right direction to this smoother path ahead. You have been over some troubled grounds here, though. Even some frozen water, it looks like. But if you're questioning, um, you know, what should I be doing to get into alignment? What do I need to do to bring love into my life? What do I need to do to get the right career or whatever it is? Um, you're asking and seeking here on this journey. You're already doing it. Okay, you're already doing it. So stop overthinking and keep facing your true north. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Time to get out in nature. If you start to overthink, start to meditate. And of course, I will leave information about what decks of cards I use and how you can contact me for personal readings in the description box there. Okay, guys? So let's see here. Let me get you guys a deck. And we will be using this deck. I feel like this is can be appreciated by Aquarius. Let's see. Oh, the sun. Beautiful. We want to see these beautiful cards for Aquarius. What else jumped out here? Nine of Cups. Wonderful. So um, they're very gold and shiny. Um, so if they're reflecting the camera, sorry here, but the sun, the nine of cups, you're already heading in the right direction for your wish to be granted here. So if you had a yes or no question, the sun here is suggesting the answer is yes to your wishes here coming true. Yes to finding your ninth cup. It's only there. <laughs> you might not be able to see it just yet, but it's just there. It may have fallen, but it will, you know, you'll find it. Don't worry. So this is after experiencing huge amounts of healing, clarity, understanding of the world. Let's see where this is going. I love it so far. I just want to press stop and be like, Aquarius, it's happening. Don't worry. Yes, with the sun. This beautiful positive energy is coming in for you. Your wish is uh, granted. Just get grounded here. Fill yourself with love with the Nine of Cups there. Six of Wands, victory. Another beautiful card for you guys. Yes, this is happening. You'll overcome these challenges as you can see. Um, she's floating over the wands here. Um, and it's overcoming a spiritual lesson here, I feel. You know, again, over the tough bits, the prickly parts, you know, We've all had that in life. Without it, who would you be? So ground yourself. Remember, okay, I've been through all these experiences. They made me who I am. Strong, powerful, beautiful, loving, caring. Somebody worthy of love. And you're already on the right track here. <laughs> and here it is, the Knight of Cups. The love offer here. There's a love offer coming towards you, Aquarius. Victory after overcoming these spiritual hardships and challenges and obstacles here. But here is your lover. It seems like almost the tree is cut down there. So you could see this lover appear. So I definitely feel like this is somebody bringing the ninth cup what you've been looking for. The four of swords, yeah. Great healing has taken place for you, Aquarius. Like I said, it didn't come easy. It did not come easy. I mean, look at on that. You're already doing it. Did you see those mountains that you had to climb? So I get it. There's beautiful healing that's happened. Um, it might be that you're not making any moves to um, date or to find somebody, but love is seeking you here. It will find you. It'll get through those four swords there, as you can see. If you think that's going to keep them out, uh-uh, no chance. They're coming.
the magician. And look, he's holding the cup. It looks like different types of cups on this magician's table. So usually we see a pentacle, a sword. This is definitely love for you guys. It's like you found the missing ingredient. You finally found what you've been looking for. Maybe it was yourself realizing I'm my ninth cup. So I'll stay single forever and then boom, here comes the love. Uh, you built this wall thinking that would keep them out because you're healed now. Mm -mm. Here they come. Love is manifesting for you, Aquarius. Judgment. It's time. It's time to get up. Um, judgment day, right? Look, you might need some help and a push in the right direction. So your friends may be getting you to like, go on, go on a date. And you're like, nope, I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm protecting myself. Uh, and your friends are like, oh, just get your hair done already. <laughs> go to the barbers or the hairdressers here. Go get some new clothes. Um, it definitely is your time. It definitely is your time here to receive this love offer. I know you, I don't know why she's laid in this, but it's like she's almost given up on love and put love to rest here. And somebody's not having it. They're pushing you here. I'm sick of hearing you say you want love. This is this friend up here. Now go and get it. Now love has come to find you. Jump. It's time with the judgment card. It's your days here. Oh my gosh, the Knave of Pentacles. This is going to grow into something beautiful. Um, it's time to learn this lesson of abundance with this love. Um, maybe even a child here. But this is like somebody is making you an offer and you think, no, it's not even worth it. Look how small it is. But the Page of Pentacles is here to teach you something new. A life of abundance that something that may be coming in a small package is actually beautiful and big and will grow and expand into such a beautiful world for you both. It's like um, the seeds that Jack swapped for his cow in the Jack and the Beanstalk here. Somebody seems to have the magic penny here. Have you heard that song, the magic penny? Lend it, spend it and you'll have so many, they'll roll all over the floor. <laughs> Um, love is something if you give it away, you'll end up having more. If you hold it tight, you won't have any. So yeah, if you are, you know, not accepting any offers, then you can expect not to have any offers here. Two of pentacles here and it was reversed. So where before you could have felt stuck or somebody was undecided, now they're coming in with a firm decision here. It's like, nope, I finally, I'm going to take one pentacle and put my best foot forward. I'm not going to keep stepping from one pentacle to the other. So this is absolutely beautiful. Um, you might be asking, what do I need to do then for this lover to come into my life? Nothing. You've tried to put up your gate. You've tried to guard yourself. It's not going to work. There's nothing you can do. You're already doing it. You're manifesting this person into your life. You could even meet them in like a very remote area. So you might feel like, oh, well, I'm going into the woods. I don't really socialize here with this meditating card, but <laughs> they're being guided to you. So it's going to happen. The magician is in the heart of the reading here. It's like something's all, the ball's already rolling or something here. So it's going to happen, like it or not. You're going to fall in love like it or not. <laughs> this person's coming, like it or not. I, I keep saying that because I think you are trying to put up this protection while maybe saying to people, I want love. Well, your friends are going to say to you, well, accept the damn offer then. <laughs> Go for it. Experience that love. The emperor. So you're trying to be stubborn. You may be concerned with the age difference between you and this person, but I don't think it's a problem. This emperor is a very abundant, also very truthful. You might not even be used to that, like somebody being truthful with you. So you might believe, is this too good to be true? And I'm the first person to say, when something's too good to be true, it usually is. 
<laughs> but um, that's because um, I'm a bit of a pes pessimistic at times. So yeah, this person is going to be very honest, very abundant, has the world to offer you here. It just seems like a small offer in the beginning. So it might just be, just accept a date, just accept a conversation with me. And then boom, you're in love. Good luck, guys.